Okay, welcome to the third video in the Hurley Calculus series. This video will be on interval notation. Interval notation is just a short way of describing a set of real numbers. For example, the English phrase all real numbers from negative 1 to 6 inclusive translates to a little um, pair of numbers of sorts, a closed bracket negative one comma six and then another closed bracket so essentially the closed bracket or the squared off bracket basically translates to the word includes and the rounded off parenthesis translates to does not include so just as a quick example suppose we want to describe this set of real numbers that this number line is showing uh, here below. So we have an open circle at negative 3 which is indicating that that's not included and we have a closed circle at 5 which is indicating that that's included. So the interval then would be described um, here with the parenthesis negative 3 comma 5 and then with a, with a closed off bracket. Here's one more example, again, just to give you the idea. So suppose here we have the graph of some function. So it's uh, got a point here at negative 3, 0 where it appears to start. Then it achieves a uh, minimum uh, here at, at the point 0, negative 5. And then it goes up and to the right and then continues going um, in that fashion forever. Using set the notation, we would describe the domain like this. This is just mathematical jibber-jabber, but all it basically says is the following. It says x such that x is a real number almost forgot the greater than or equal to part greater than or equal to negative 3. That's basically what that whole thing says. Most texts would allow you to shorten it like this because in general it's assumed that you're dealing with a real numbered function and you don't need to necessarily specify the set. But the directions asks us to specify this domain using interval notation. And so again, what we've got here is we're including negative 3, but we're going to infinity. And my explanation for why there's always a rounded parentheses, in other words, why do we not include infinity, is that infinity is not really a number, it's more of an idea. It's just saying that it goes on and on forever and you're never going to catch up to forever. And so it needs to be a rounded parenthesis that is not including infinity pretty much every single time that you use either infinity or negative infinity. And again, employing similar rationale, we get an interval for the range that is from negative 5 to infinity. And note I've included just some visual aids on the graph to show you why this is. Again, refer to my domain and range explanation if that's unclear. Okay, one last one. I've made this uh, a little bit harder for you. I've got uh, a hole in the graph and I also have an asymptote. Um, what I want you to note about the asymptote is that the asymptote is the line x equals 1. Okay, so this location here, which I'll just mark with the hole, is the location 1 zero. To continue the use of visual aids, what I've done here is I've highlighted on the x-axis the places where the graph does contain x values. And so this here is an open circle at x equals 1. And so what it does is, is it gets everything to the far left forever. It goes to negative 2 but doesn't include it. Then it picks up at 1 but does not include that and then goes to 4 stopping there and including it. So the interval then uh, for the domain, well the two intervals would look like this. Okay, I've done a similar tactic using the range. And so that translates into the following interval set. 